Hello friends, today I want to show you Excel Video Library Management System. This is Calvin and I welcome you to this uh, tutorial to see the power of Excel VBA in making uh, work easier as teachers and administrators. So uh, we start by logging in. So this is the logging in window. Uh, we need to put our username. So username admin admin one two. Then you log in. Okay, login successful. So this is the, <coughs> the system. So we have <coughs> various uh, modules. It's able to see. So let's start by adding section because the sections where we will be keeping the books. So we add section. So you can add a book section, a section ID maybe six. Then uh, the section name. Uh, section name we can say uh, history you can put history as the section name that's our, 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 our um, section name so uh, then you save section details successfully saved you can even uh, add the next another one so maybe uh, something like geography uh, that will be our next section okay then, then you save. So you can add as many as possible, depending on how you want to library and look like. So that's how you add section. You can always uh, update those sections. For example, you want to update a uh, section with section ID four. So you just uh, click that. Then you can see the section ID and the section name is already appearing. So you can edit. You can edit those ones uh, the way you want. Okay. You can also delete. Uh, that section as well so that's how you'll be adding section then uh, we need to add books into the system so we'll uh, go there adding book so you put in the book id so let's say the book id is seven so the title of the book we can say uh, we can say a finder the a finder the a finder the title of the book then the author you can say the author uh, Samuel P Samuel P for example uh, then the year let's say 2009 section these are the section we've added so we can because it's a uh, chemistry so we can put it uh, in the chemistry so the section ID will pop up here automatically then the ISBN the 13 digits okay then we save then we save so the book details are successfully saved so that's how you'll be adding this book so you can add another book uh, maybe uh, maybe maybe seven the title of the book uh, you can say uh, my lab then the author hp okay uh, then uh, we can say okay, we can have a page. Then, then, then we can say the year uh, 1996. Then the section. Uh, okay, this one can be and uh, maybe okay, let's just put it under English. Uh, then the section ID one you can see that one's already there. Then the ISBN. Then we save. So the book is already in the book list. Okay, 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 okay. The book is already in the book list. So I think I've used. Okay, well, let's have. Okay, let me close this. Then we have. Uh, okay, so oh, it's, it's already we can have the book ID seven is already there. So eight. So the title. Then the year 1996. Section, let us have just English. Then uh, the ISBN can be, that will be the ISBN for that. Book. Then we save. Okay, the book already added. So that's how you'll be adding those books. Then you can view the book details or the book list. The book list, 
uh, these are the books that you've already added into the system uh, they will always uh, uh, feature in here so you can display you can search a book by maybe uh, you can search by section you can search by section like if you type a one uh, okay this section id you can see section id one all those books under this section will all appear so that one is searching by uh, section so you can always search even by uh, author by title and so on so if you want to print this one just press print then uh, it will generate a pdf uh, okay this you can see we have printed the pdf in pdf format i see so if you want to uh, if you want to generate or you want to print the hard copy you can just uh, a connect your printer and then print this one uh, for your use okay so that's how you generate or you print the book list then we can also add readers the students who will be uh, using the books so add reader you go here then you put in the reader id uh, you can see these are the readers who are already in the system this one is already added into the system so you can add as many as possible depending on your uh, institution let's say you want to add a new uh, reader so 1004 then you put the reader's name so you can say uh, penina penina uh, mungai penina mungai that is a female gender the date of birth you can say uh, the month of um, uh, february 15th 2001. Then the phone 0713. That would be the phone, for example. Then the address can be post address or, I, or email address. But let us use post address. So P box um, F creation. Okay. okay, that is the address. Then the member type is a student. Then you say, then you say. So after saving, that's how uh, you shall um, uh, save that into the system. So that is uh, adding readers. You can see Penina Munga is now featuring here. So uh, if you press Penina, then all the details will be there. Remember, you can also uh, edit. You can edit the details. So for example, 1000, you press 1000, you, you search for that one, then it will display the information here, then you can change any information. The way you want. Uh, if at all you maybe you enter wrong information, you can always edit them like that. Okay, so that's how you'll be managing a readers. Then a reader list, you can also view the list here. You can search by admission. You can just search by admission. You can see uh, by admission and one. You can see and two. You can see. You can also search by gender. You can just type female. Uh, female, if you want. Female, you can see all the female uh, readers uh, appearing. Uh, you can also search by phone number and just type 07 uh, 586 586 and you can see it's filtering. So that is what you can do to search by any um, uh, status. So you can print as well. Uh, when you press print, it will generate a PDF uh, copy, okay, which you can further print for. Uh, use so this is a PDF. You can uh, print this one if you want the hard copy. You just connect your printer, then you print that. Okay, and that's very nice. That's very nice. So that's how you'll be uh, viewing the reader list. Then you add suppliers as well. Uh, these are the suppliers which are being added to the system. But you can add as many as possible depending on those one supplying a school or institution the books. So let's say the supplier ID for uh, the supplier name uh, Monica Monica Jerry uh, Monica Jerry then uh, uh, Monica Jerry is a uh, female then of course the city you can say uh, let's say uh, how okay you see there is not a city town okay address uh, P O okay uh, box uh, one zero two uh, QC. Okay, we have added that. Then we also have the phone number 0700. Okay, 
the company, you can say Ajolema Book, Book Supplies, uh, LTD. Okay, then we say we say that's a supplier. So we've already saved that one. So that's how you'll be saving them. You can also uh, be able to edit or update. Just press the uh, supplier ID, then you search. Then the information will be displayed here. Then you can update it. Uh, you can change the address, the phone number. Then you click update. Or you can uh, you can also delete the supplier. You press delete and it will be go. It will go. It will just go like that. Then it's clear. Fail. So that's how you'll be managing suppliers. Then supplier list and view the supplier list. Here you can search by gender, the, the city and so on. You can press Kisumu. Then uh, you see Kisumu getting this page. You press the see You can see getting the page. So you can search by city. You can also search by uh, gender. You press female. And you see female is uh, getting this page. So uh, that's how you can. Uh, always uh, do the search. Then you can print this list, just uh, press print, then again it will uh, display the PDF uh, copy of the list, so you can see, which you can print and uh, file or uh, take it somewhere uh, for you. So that's how you will manage your supplies. Then you also add staff, the staff, you can uh, add the staff members. Your school, these are the few staff members uh, valid in the system. So you can add uh, another one. So let's start. Staff ID be 10, 11, maybe 15. And uh, then the name uh, is Joroge, Joroge, uh, Joroge, Kamau. Okay, that one is uh, the staff, is a male, date of birth, maybe uh, May 14th. 1991. Then the phone 0722. Okay. The address uh, uh, Nairobi. Nairobi. Uh, okay. That should be the address. The member type. Let's say the member type is uh, it's a staff. It's a staff. Then you save. So uh, staff is successfully saved. So we already saved that staff member. Uh, remember, you can save as many as possible depending on the staff. So you can also uh, search here. You can search by ID. So if you press 10, 11, 12, uh, then you press search button. You can see you already searched and it's already displayed here. So you can do anything with that. You can now edit. You can now update anything. And you can delete this uh, staff member as well. So that's how you'll be managing them. So uh, you can as well uh, have a look at the, the staff list, the staff list. So you just go to the uh, staff list here. You can uh, search the same way. You can search by staff ID, you can search by phone, and so on. Then uh, uh, you can also search by gender. Press mail, then the male staff members will appear. If you press female, the female if they are there, they will appear. Okay, like that. You can also start by a name, Penina. Penina, for example, Penina. You can see Penina is really. So you can, you can here's a multi search. You can search using uh, uh, different criteria. So then you can also print. You can also print. So uh, printing to generate the PDF. Again, the PDF you can see, and then you can print that one. Uh, you can print that one. So that's how you be in star, uh, star. Then a uh, borrow book. So uh, this one is very important because this is where you will now be issuing books. Uh, so this is a, a book issuing uh, window, the library. So if you want to issue a book, you simply uh, put in the book ID here. Then uh, uh, you uh, click this, then it will display all the information. So like, for example, let's say book ID uh, two, book ID two, you can see, uh, really it has displayed all the information of that book, uh, reading from the uh, international standards, uh, or ISBN, to the author, to the title of the book, 
Then here you put in the reader ID. Maybe the reader ID is 1003. So you can see the reader is already displayed. So we we now have an authenticative the reader's detail and the book detail. So we only put the number of days that book is to take, so 10 days. When you put the number of days, you can see the return date automatically displays here. You should put uh, maybe 15, you can see the date, return date is uh, uh, changing. So as you change this one, the return date will change. So here you just put the number of days to be taken uh, by the reader while using the book. So now then you press issue issue the book. When you press issue the book, you can see book borrow successfully, and then you put OK. So that's how you've uh, issued the book. So that's how you'll be issuing uh, those books. So this, uh, if you look at the bottom here, you'll see a list. Uh, these are books which are already on borrow, so you can see these are books uh, which have already uh, been given uh, to the readers. So the list will be displayed there automatically. Uh, if you, if we, if we, if we Come back to the borrow, you can see the one that we have already just added a few minutes ago, it's already in the system. The book which has been borrowed, uh, this book here by this uh, reader, already added. So this way you'll be adding uh, those uh, 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 borrowed books. So if you put in a book ID like a uh, form, you can see means this book has already been borrowed by somebody. As you can see down here, uh, this book here with ID 4 already is borrowed. So it means that particular book is not on the shelf. It is a book ID, a book with book ID 4. It's not there on the shelf. So uh, unless you put in another ID uh, uh, for that particular book, because remember, and we may have very many copies of a book, so it means those ID uh, will be different. So in such a case, those books will have different IDs, so you'll do that appropriately. Okay, All right. So that's how you're borrowing the book, those books. So uh, again, you can you can uh, again search the book ID that is on borrow. Maybe you want to change the date of return and so on. You put in uh, the book ID here put in the book ID, then you search. So you can see the details for this borrow book already is uh, displayed here. So you can change maybe the return date and so on. Maybe you can put here uh, for just to, just to change the return date and so on. Uh, because this one you can't actually edit this one and this one you can't edit because they are editable in other windows. But for this one you only put in, you can only change the return date. So that's how you'll be editing the uh, return date. Okay, so that is how you'll be managing uh, issues of book. Then now, after issuing books, you may want to print or you may want to view the list for those books which are already uh, issued. So here you look direct. You can see it's a long list uh, with very many columns. So uh, let us print this list. Okay, it will generate, so you can see it has already generated uh, in PDF format the books which are on board. These are the books uh, which have been given out, they are not in the library, they are with the students or uh, with the readers. Okay, so you can print this one and, uh, and uh, take it to the wherever it's needed. So that is the borrow, uh, the borrow details. Then now it comes now to return of those books. So a student has now returned the book. So you need to put in the book ID that is being returned. So for example, the book ID uh, maybe two. If you put in the book ID two because the book which is being returned, then you uh, sign. So you can see very nice and very nice display here. It will tell you the number of days left or the number of days uh, uh, that you have gone past that you have uh, gone past the written date 
So uh, now this student is returning a book uh, before the before the due date. So you can see the emoji here, the smile, which means that book has been returned uh, either early or on time. Okay. Uh, so then you press the receive book. So when you press the receive book, you will be prompted here. Are you sure you want to return this book? You can either say yes or no. You can either say yes. Okay, let me say no. Okay. So if you put uh, maybe I need three. Okay. Let us put uh, maybe four. Let us see if four also. Okay. Ten days left. This one is also uh, still. If a student comes and you can see ten days left, that means it has been returned very early. But let, let us put three. Okay. And see what happens. So you can see. You can see the type of uh, emoji which is now being displayed here. So it's very sad because this book is eight days past the return date. So eight days past the return date. That means this student or the reader has uh, overstayed with the book. So if at all there is some charges or fines to be levied, then this student is supposed to pay fine. And you can see at the corner here the fine is uh, well displayed. Fine of Kenya shillings 160. You need to pay that because you are overstayed with the book. And others are uh, supposed to be using that book as well. So this student or this reader is supposed to pay fine. We will see how this fine is uh, uh, being, uh, how we are controlling it in the settings. Okay, so that is what's happening. So let us put a book ID four. We see. Okay, this book you can see is still very nice because ten days left, and uh, the emoji you can see here is just smiling. Which means there's no problem there's no problem with that so that's how you'll be returning those books so let me uh, receive this one just press receive so when you press receive you will be asked are you sure you want to return this book let me press yes yes so book return successful okay okay so i'll return that book that book is now uh, somebody else can now borrow that book so that's how the books are being returned then now the setting section uh, setting section here you make uh, some few uh, up changes if you want you might may want to reset uh, the fine so fine after due date so let me refresh so the fine after due date as of now the system has got uh, the, the fine here may 20 shillings per day after the due date so when you take one day you pay 20 shillings when you take two days after the due date you pay uh, 40. When you take three days, you pay 60. So fine after the due date is 20 shillings. The currency is Kenya shillings. So uh, let me uh, change this one to five shillings. Five shillings. Uh, uh, the, I can change this one to Ugandan shillings. Uh, Ugandan shillings. Or you can put it to Naira. You can put it uh, any currency that uh, is appropriate. Then you say uh, submit. So when you say submit, Find amount successfully updated. So we'll go back and check how that one is going to work. Then you can also reset password, system password. So uh, you just put the username, the password, and then, then you re-enter the password. Then you submit. By that, you shall have changed the system password. Uh, okay. So that's how you change the system password. Then you can also change institution detail, the institution name, the motto, the email address, and the phone number. Then you submit. So here you will be doing those uh, settings. You can also delete all. When you press this one, for example, when I press this one, you can see, are you sure you wish to delete all data from the library management system? If you say yes, then this library management system will be, uh, will have no data at all. You shall have deleted everything. Let me say no. So that is the setting section. That's how you make those settings. So let us go back to return book and then because I updated the uh, fine charges, all the charges, uh, let me now return this book with ID 3. You can see this is a book which is uh, overstayed, it is past the return days. So you can see, look at the corner here, now uh, you can see the fine, uh, Ugandan shillings 40. So because the book has taken 8 days and remember the setting that we put was five shillings per day. So five, if you multiply that one by eight, you 
they have fought and the currency we change that one to shill to Ugandan shillings. So that one is uh, done in the settings. You can always change that one to whatever you want. To wherever you want. Okay. Okay, that's very nice. So then here we have exit. So when you press exit, we are going to exit the system and uh, it's going to save all details that you added and uh, that's how you will close it down. So when you press exit, it will confirm. Are you sure you wish to exit? Uh, you press yes, then that's how you exit. So let us press yes to exit. Okay. okay now it is exited. And now it has exited. And uh, uh, thank you very much for watching.